Edward Gorey. He was a writer and illustrator best known for his eerie pen and ink illustrations. His drawings often took inspiration from the fashions of the Victorian period through to about the 1920s, but they have a unique style all their own. Even if you aren't familiar with his work, you may still have seen his illustrations as they were, and still are, used in the opening sequence of PBS's Mystery Series. Although there is a childlike and often whimsical tone to much of his work, his stories do tend to be dark. Very dark. Many have a foreboding atmosphere and often focus on death and other macabre topics. Which at this spooky time of year seems like a great place to draw inspiration for a makeup look. For my look today, I'm going to try to replicate the look of a classic gory vamp. This style is sort of a 1920s Theta Bear kind of look. To begin with, I'm going to be lining both my upper and bottom lash lines with a smudgy black eyeliner pencil. Keeping in the spirit of the 1920s, I'm only going to be using a single black eyeshadow all over my lids. I have hooded eyes, so I'm carrying the shadow up into the crease, blending well along the top edge. Gory's flappers tended to have very dark eye makeup, so feel free to be liberal with the eyeshadow. I decided to keep this makeup look both wearable and believable for the 1920s, so I'm blending the eyeshadow in well creating a soft, smoky edge to the eyeshadow look. To darken the lash line a bit more, I'm going in with a slightly sparkly black eyeshadow and using a small brush to apply it just over top of the original eyeliner. I'm now applying a pale powder foundation all over just to even out my skin tone a bit. Gory's characters tended to be black and white, and thus it's rather hard to tell if they were intended to have blush on or not. They usually have quite full cheeks though, so I'm applying a soft pink blush just to add emphasis to this area. Next, I'm applying a layer of translucent powder all over my face. This is also going to help soften that blush down a bit. I've noticed Gory's illustrations never seem to feature prominent lips, so instead of lipstick, I'm just going to apply a very lightly tinted Edwardian lip balm. The last step is to apply a black mascara to both the top and the bottom lashes. I'm using a cake mascara, but any style of mascara should work.
Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are all having a wonderfully spooky October, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> Hello! Favorite. <laughs>